What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video and we're covering another shortcut. Yes, we're taking a look at HTML Sandbox. Now, if you guys have been a part of this entire shortcut journey, which started like a year ago, uh, we're at a pretty crazy place in terms of this shortcut kind of wallpaper customization and HTML Sandbox is basically like Zen HTML for a non jailbroken iPhone, which is absolutely insane. This iPhone is not jailbroken. You can see the theme that I'm using. I did not create this theme. I think this theme looks absolutely awesome. We got weather information. We got date information. We have our battery information all on the wallpaper. And you pair that with some custom icons and some cool widgets on iOS 15 and you got one hell of a custom looking iPhone. Now in order to download HTML Sandbox, of course you're gonna need the Discord application. I'll leave the App Store link for that in the description. And you're gonna wanna join the Innovation Discord server. Link again is in the description for the server. That's where all of the downloads can be found. Now once you're in the server, all you gotta do is go to HTML sandbox and everything you need to know on getting this shortcut up and running is right here. So as you can see, these are all the posts. It supports iOS 15 plus. It's a little different for like version 15.0.1 like I'm on versus like 15.1. Uh, so there, there's slight differences, but it's, it's still all the same shortcut. This also supports um, iOS 14 as well. So if you're on iOS 14, maybe on like 14.7 or 14.8 waiting for a jailbreak, you can still use this shortcut. And it also has support for non-notched devices. So the older legacy devices. And like I said, all of the info you need is right on this page. You can go through, there's, uh, you know, cool shortcuts to install the themes and stuff like that. But I'm gonna keep it basic. I'm just gonna go ahead and install the shortcut and uh, show you guys the basics of this shortcut pretty much. So um, let's see here, this one is for 15.1 plus, so I don't think I'm gonna download that one. Uh, the version that I have right now has the allow pop-ups that should be fixed in the future and we should be able to download uh, the shortcut right here. So we'll just click on the HTML sandbox, get shortcut, we jump into the shortcuts application, just click on add a shortcut. I'm just gonna replace it. Now at this point, you can just go into your shortcuts and run the shortcut. And any pop-ups that you get, just click on always allow on all of those. So any pop-ups, just make sure you're clicking on always allow and uh, you should be good to go. Now I hope I didn't get the annoying progress bug where it doesn't show me the progress anymore. We'll wait a couple of seconds here. And uh, this shortcut should be done. It should have ran on the lock screen and it did there. So that's just the template. Uh, that'll run, That'll. that's how you know it worked, is you sh your lock screen wallpaper should look like this after you run it the first time. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our passcode and hop back into our iPhone. So the whole purpose of this shortcut is to download themes. And again, you're gonna do all of this within the innovation server. Uh, you can see here, uh, HTML sandbox gallery. So a bunch of different themes can be found here for download and also HTML sandbox theme shares uh, here as well. And some of these are insane like this. This is for your lock screen and this looks almost like a jailbroken iPhone, which is pretty freaking cool. Of course, you can't change the stock, you know, the, the stock stuff, but you can add to it and you can really give it that kind of Zen HTML effect, uh, which is really cool. This is the theme, um, not this one. That's another really cool one, but right here, this is the theme that I am using uh, that's within the HTML sandbox themes shares, as you guys can see there. Now to install a theme, let's go ahead and let's change it up. Maybe we'll go into the gallery here and see what's in here for download. Now, it's a little weird to change the theme name. Also, uh, you will have to have two separate shortcuts, I believe, if you wanna have two separate themes, one for the lock screen and one for the home screen. 
Uh, maybe we'll download this one here by Lucifer. So just click on the download, click on download, click on more and save to files. And then we just want to save it to the HTML sandbox folder. I'll show you guys quickly how to navigate to that folder. It's really easy, iCloud Drive, go down to the shortcuts folder and then there is HTML sandbox, click on save. Now we can jump into our files. And if you navigate to the HTML sandbox folder within files, you will see the, the zip of the theme download that you did. So just click on it to unzip it. Give it a couple of seconds to unzip. We will delete the zip now, we no longer need it. And what I like to do is just double tap on the name so I can copy the name. And then now we're gonna jump into the shortcuts application. We're gonna click the three, three dots on the shortcut. And then you're gonna see right here at the top of the shortcut, apply HTML sandbox on lock screen is one, two is home screen and three is for both. So I actually want to apply this to the home screen. So I'm gonna change that to two. And then you will see down here that if you're on iOS 15.1 or newer, you put the theme folder here and that's really easy to do. You just navigate to HTML sandbox and then the theme folder you want to use, just click done like that. Now, since I'm on iOS 15.0.1, I'm not gonna do it that way, but if you're on 15.1 or newer, that is how you're going to do it. And then for 15.1 and below, or below 15.1, you just put the name of the theme right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's why I copied it. Okay, apparently I did not copy it. So let's go ahead and copy the name. There we go. We have changed the theme name in the shortcut. Now at this point we can just close it out and now we can run the shortcut. Now, unfortunately, I'm gonna get these pop-ups again, so I'm just gonna click on always allow on them. And I don't wanna to go too advanced in this video um, with the shortcut. This is mainly geared for you know, people to download themes and to use them on their device. Um, to actually create the themes requires some knowledge of code. And uh, I know people are gonna ask me the difference between HTML sandbox and the difference between that and also uh, weather HTML and pretty much the differences are that weather HTML has everything in the code and HTML sandbox is completely stripped away you need to add the code to whatever you want to use so you you build your theme from pretty much scratch on uh, HTML sandbox in weather HTML everything is in the theme basically you just enable it or move it around and the reason why this has been done is because if you don't need everything for a theme then you only put in what you need it speeds up the process of running the shortcut substantially uh, weather HTML takes you know a good I don't know 30 seconds maybe to run HTML sandbox can run in like six to seven seconds, which is pretty awesome. Now our home screen should have changed to Luc Lucifer's theme, which looks freaking cool. So you can see it, it, it totally changes the entire vibe of your device. There's a ton of cool themes to download. Um, and I think that's gonna be basically it for this video, guys. Again, the link for innovation is in the description. The link for the Discord application itself, if you don't have it, uh, the App Store link is in the description. And uh, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys think that HTML sandbox is as cool as I do. I think it's freaking amazing. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely throw a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been IDM, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.